Russia and Ukraine have launched a volley of claims and counterclaims. It's becoming impossible really to verify any of it. The latest allegation is this, bioweapons. Russia claims it has uncovered 30 bio labs in Ukraine, 3 0, 30 bio labs in Ukraine. What happened to these labs? What happened at these labs, rather? According to Russia, weaponization, they were making biological weapons. They claim America was developing bio weapons in Ukraine. Listen to this. It is obvious that in the wake of the special military operation, the Pentagon started having serious concerns about secret biological experiments uncovered on the Ukrainian territory. The uncovered documents confirm that components for chemical weapons were developed in Ukrainian biolabs in immediate proximity to Russia. That is a serious allegation. Before we examine it, let me tell you, let me give you some background, in fact. What is a bioweapon? It can be a toxin or a deadly pathogen, basically something that attacks humans from the inside. How are bioweapons deployed? Just like any other weapon, you can use missiles, grenades or rockets. Are they legal? Well, absolutely not. Multiple conventions ban the development and use of bioweapons. The most important one is the BWC of 1975. BWC is the Biological Weapons Convention. What does it say? It says that you cannot develop, produce, acquire, transfer, stockpile, or use any kind of biological weapon. It's a strict no in warfare. Coming back to Russia's allegation, what exactly have they uncovered? 30 labs with incriminating documents. That's what Russia claims. These documents allegedly expose America's operation to develop bioweapons, specifically the plague, anthrax, and rabbit fever. Did they also find any stockpiles? Well, this is where things get interesting. Russia claims Ukraine destroyed the entire stock last month. Listen to this. During the course of the special military operation, facts were uncovered of the Kiev regime mopping up traces of military biological programs under development in Ukraine, financed by the U.S. Defense Ministry. Sounds a bit convenient, doesn't it? If the stockpile was destroyed, why not the documents? Why would Ukraine leave incriminating papers lying around? It simply doesn't add up. And this is not an isolated incident. Russia has made countless wild allegations. Here's another one. Russia state media claims Ukraine is making a nuclear bomb at Chernobyl. Again, this is a very serious accusation. And again, there is no evidence. Here's what the United Nations atomic watchdog had to say. We do not have any information that would uh, question the non-proliferation uh, credentials of, of the Ukraine. Uh, uh, it's important to say, as I indicated earlier in the press conference, that we have we, we continue our safeguards operation and we do not have uh, any information that there is any deviation of material, uh, any undeclared material or activities leading to the development of uh, nuclear weapons. Once the war is over, all of these claims will be analyzed. There will be investigations, there will be political standoffs. But until then, there must be restraint. False accusations cannot be used to justify a war. Non-existent weapons cannot be an excuse to invade. And this applies to every country, not just Russia. Let me take you back to February 2003. America was preparing to invade Iraq. At the United Nations, there was a last-minute presentation. It was given by this man, former U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell. What did he say? That Iraq was building biological weapons, that Iraq could deliver anthrax via drones. America used these lies to invade Iraq. Today, Russia is using similar lies to invade Ukraine. The fact is both nations are wrong. Washington said the precedent. Moscow is following it. And China is latching on to it. It gets more interesting. Let me quote what the foreign ministry said. We once again urge the U.S. side to fully clarify its biological military activities, both at home and abroad, and accept multilateral verifications. What is the real intention of the United States? What exactly has it done? These have always been the source of misgivings for the international community. This is China speaking. You have to appreciate the audacity. It's borderline hilarious. Just two years ago, China exported a deadly virus to the whole world. They hid the ground reality. They refused multilateral verifications. And today, that, that same China is preaching. For the record, we still don't know how the Wuhan virus emerged. Was it a lab leak? Was it a species jump? We don't know. And China blocks every attempt to investigate it. 
Now, I'm not saying that America should get a free pass. Nobody should. Claims of bioweapons are serious. They must be probed rigorously. Having said that, this principle must apply universally. By all means, investigate the labs of Kharkiv, but also investigate the labs of Wuhan. Also, this must not become an established precedent. We have watchdogs to verify illegal experiments. We have United Nations agencies to punish violations. Global powers cannot take these laws into their own hands. Just think about it. What if China claims the US is making bioweapons in Taiwan tomorrow? Would there be another invasion? At this rate, anything is possible. All these wild allegations and counter allegations, they're only a symbol of a larger problem, a global order that no one takes seriously anymore. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.